I mean, uh, the, the one thing that was so surprising to me from watching the games would be just looking down there and seeing how they just got smashed in every matchup. Kate versus Ash. Like, it doesn't matter what side they got. They're just getting fucking hard bot prioed, like, pushed into the turret, and Double's just clutching onto that shit for dear life down, like, 20 CS. Like, I, I can't believe that that's the Double that we're seeing nowadays. because that's Double. Depression. Yeah, I mean, Double is famous for the opposite place, though. I feel like it's even worse that he made the he like backed and TP'd with no item again, and mm -hmm. I feel like this is a mistake you only see out of like first time rookie players. It's like noob shit, page. yeah. Like, it's so it's so bad. Yeah, no, I mean it, it wasn't even like uh, maybe he forgot like a couple potions or he forgot like a logs. No, motherfucker forgot his BF sword. Like when you're backing up <laughs> thirteen hundred gold, that is all you're fucking backing for, man. Like that is the only way you can lay it at that point, dude. And then it's like besides for that mistake, I thought it was even worse how he just like backed in like. The, the bush right in front of who he just gets canceled again, then has to back even further. It was like, oh, man, I can't even watch it anymore. So, I don't know. It, it was a pretty fucking rough series. Um, he was definitely just on tilt or something, for yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, one question I wanted to ask you is, like, going in, did you kind of just perceive it as Bjergsen was the only threat on TSM? Because you guys did ban out all of his, like, mid lane champions. Is that Was, was that the strategy? Like, TSM can't function if this guy doesn't pop off? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we, we played them in week nine of LCS, and it was a pretty close game. The only thing that TSM actually had was just Bjergsen popping off. He kind of like, they, they, they just picked Yumi, and we gave him LeBlanc, because we didn't really think it'd be an issue. And it wasn't even like I had a bad game, it was just Bjergsen was like really caring super hard. Like, he just had a spectacular game. And then after that, we kind of just realized TSM doesn't really have a, uh, they, they don't really have a, uh, a way to play the game if Bjergsen's not getting ahead and actually carrying so we kind of just went into the games with that mindset where it's like i'm going to neutralize bjergsen and then the rest of our map should be able to play easily because they can't really they don't function if bjergsen like doesn't have prowl or bjergsen's not getting like gold early mm -hmm. do you have a do you have a like certain idea of why this is because this is the same thing that we've seen like on multiple different iterations of tsm right like it's pretty much three new players since the last time you played tsm when you were on clutch and it seemed like it was kind of the same story back then so like every time you play tsm it probably feels pretty similar where you're like oh man like i just have to like go even with this guy and my team's just gonna like smash his like is that just a you know a, a bjergsen problem or do you think that's just a tsm problem like how do you perceive tsm as a team because i think we see this a lot yeah, I think Bjergsen is one of the mini mid laners in the LCS who kind of... If, if, if Bjergsen's on the team, the team's going to be all about Bjergsen. He's kind of the same way where, like, Power Beeble is. Where if, if these players join the team, they're not going to really... They're not going to move around, I would say, as much. But they're going to force their teammates to all come to them. And I think that playstyle is, like, arguably a little bit outdated. I feel like if, if you're not, like, getting punished by everyone coming to mid then your the side lanes will kind of collapse and i don't know i think it's just kind of an issue with tsm and like bjergsen's team i don't know if it would change wherever he goes if i'm being honest it doesn't help having spick as a jungle as well because if you see the times he does take picks to try and roam like they're just they're, they're never going to win those games so like at the moment if you're bjergsen you're just stuck between a rock and a hard place it's like at this point in time i would try and just pick for myself and just play for myself like what chance do you have at the moment yeah, well, no, the other carries are functional. I, I think what's so sad is just seeing that game three. Is like you know when he locks in set mid in game three. I just knew it was over. I was like, oh man, we're gonna see this. It's like okay, now the pressure's on his teammates to perform and carry. Like he's gonna be the one setting up Spica for this one v nine nearly performance. And then I just yeah, go for I, it. I don't even know how true it is though. Like even when Bjergsen plays these other styles of champions, I feel like he's just not that good at them. So he just doesn't do it because of that. Like. I don't think his teammates are really that bad, if I'm being honest. I think this is like a common thing you see with a lot of mid laners in LCS, where their team looks really bad around them, and then everyone's like, "Oh my god, this mid laner is so good," or something. And like, you you could even you could look at a lot of these players, and their ADCs always end up sucking. I don't know. Like the FlyQuest AD carries always look bad. I feel like the TSM AD carries never look good, and I feel like. Those players are not actually bad. It's just that their mid laners are just playing way too greedy. You know what? He's got a point there, Dom. I've actually never thought of that because here's the issue, right? Is if something happens like once, fair enough. In fact, there's actually a famous quote that's like that. It's like once is a you know an, an accident, two is coincidence, three times is enemy action. As in, if someone does like something fucked to you three times, like, they did it intentionally at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Like think about this, right? Think about the last three AD carries that Bjergsen has had. Sven, right? When Sven was playing with Bjergsen, Sven looked absolute trash. After that, everyone said he was the MVP. Then he had Kobe, 
Kobe came from being hailed, not by me, but by the broadcasters, like all pro best fucking AD carry in Europe. Absolute garbage on TSM. Now he gets Doberlift back, who at least, to be fair, had been bad on TL. So that's not quite like the same scenario. It's not like he was great before Do- Bjergsen, but he's not good now either. So, like, even though I think actually in the split he had, there was times where he was decent at least. It is, there is something disturbing about that. Like, if I think about it, except for when Doberlift was in his prime in TSM, I don't think Bjergsen's ever actually played with a super strong AD carry for my money. Like, it does. It does almost feel like the whole team just always resolves around Bjergsen, which face it is TSM. Like their fans just use that approach, where even though before the game they love everyone, afterwards it's like, right, how can I blame everyone except Bjergsen? So if you never blame the one guy who's in the team all the time, there's going to be something like that. Because the point isn't that Bjergsen's a bad player. We're talking now about how do you interact with your teammates, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I just, how do you set the game up? I think for me, it's just so egregious how his teammates are playing that I can't like. Even even though I I do think that there's something there, I don't think Bjergsen is like the same player as he was in season five compared to the rest of the league or anything. Oh, of course. But like when I'm looking at at Golden Guardians, for example. I don't think you should be allowed to early pick Morgana support every fucking game and never get counterpicked in the in all these lanes. Like, how are you supposed to play Ash Morgana if the enemy team just picks a target?